In this video, I'm gonna show you how to permanently block adult websites on your iPhone. This video is aimed at helping those struggling with a porn addiction. Don't worry because I got you. If you're watching this, I first want to congratulate you for taking the initiative to eliminate porn from your life. It truly is a harmful addiction. I promise the method I'm gonna reveal in this video is the best method to block porn and nobody else is sharing this online because I was the one who actually discovered the solution. If you follow the steps in this video, it will literally be impossible to access porn on your iPhone no matter how strong the urge is. This means there are no loopholes or workarounds to disable the block which will ultimately help you stop watching porn. There are two things I want to cover in this video. The first is the default method. I'm going to show you the typical method people use to block adult content on their iPhone using screen time. This is what most YouTube videos teach you to do and I'm going to expose the reason why it isn't effective. The second thing I'm going to cover is how to actually enforce your screen time settings. I'm going to reveal how to make your restrictions 100% non-bypassable, effectively blocking adult content on your iPhone by removing the ability to disable your screen time. Now let's dive into the tutorial. So first go into your settings app and then tap on screen time. Screen time is a native iOS feature that comes in every iPhone. Next, scroll down and tap on content and privacy restrictions. Then turn on content privacy and restrictions and once you do that, you'll be able to click content restrictions over here. On here, you could see web content. I want you to tap on that and as you could see, by default, it's set to unrestricted. What you want to do here is tap on limit adult websites. So what this does is adds a filter on your Safari app so that anytime you try to access a website with adult content, it's going to block the website. You could also block additional websites by clicking add websites under never allow. Next, I want to go back to the main screen time page because there's something else I want to show you to do. Down here, you could see an option called lock screen time settings. It's going to ask you to set a four digit passcode. So whenever you try to change your screen time settings, it's going to ask for this passcode you set here. You could set the passcode yourself or in many cases, people ask a family or friend to set a secret random passcode on their phone, thinking that's going to help prevent themselves from changing their settings. But later on, I'm going to explain why that doesn't actually work. So for now, I'm going to set my own screen time passcode this will pop up. It doesn't really matter if you log in or not. I'm just going to hit cancel and skip this. By now, you probably think this tutorial is over, but we are far from done here because doing this doesn't actually work. And keep in mind, this is what most people do. This is what they're taught on every YouTube video. It doesn't work. Even if you ask a family member to set a secret random passcode on your phone, you could still easily bypass the restrictions due to the many loopholes out there. In fact, I'm going to actually demonstrate how this works and then I'm going to show you how to actually solve that problem so that way you can't turn off screen time whenever the urge strikes. I'm going to minimize the settings app and I'm going to open up Safari. Next, I'm going to try to visit a website that contains adult content. As you can see, it says you cannot browse this page at cornhub.com because it's restricted. And there's also a button that says allow website. If you tap that button, it's going to ask you for the screen time passcode. Now keep in mind, if you set the passcode yourself, you could simply input the password here and still access the website. And if you don't know your screen time passcode because you asked a family or friend to set it up for you, well, guess what? You could still bypass it and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I'm going to go back to my settings app and hit screen time. Next, scroll down to the middle and you'll see an option that says change screen time passcode. I'm going to click that and then click change screen time passcode again. Now it's going to ask you to enter your old screen time passcode so that way you could change it or turn it off. And let's imagine for a second that you don't know your screen time passcode because you asked a family member or friend to set one for you and you told them not to tell you the password by any means. Well, guess what? That's not going to work out for you because there's an option down here that says forgot passcode. If you click that button, you could easily reset your screen time passcode. This button down here is the root problem with screen time. This has been a major issue for many years. I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn off screen time because of this. So I'm going to tap on forgot passcode and it's going to ask me to log into my iCloud account. I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I just logged into my iCloud account and now it's asking me to enter a new screen time passcode. 
I'm going to enter one right now. And just like that, I was able to reset my screen time passcode even when I didn't know the initial password. And this is going to allow me to go into my content and privacy restrictions and turn it off. Now, when I go back to Safari and try to access an adult website, it's going to allow me to visit it because I turned off screen time. As you've seen from this demonstration, Apple has made it almost impossible for you to take control over your digital habits. Like what's the point of having a screen time feature if you could easily disable it anytime you want? This has actually been a major problem for over 10 years. Tens of thousands of people have made complaints to Apple about these loopholes and they have done nothing to fix this problem. I myself struggled with this problem for many years because anytime I would set up screen time restrictions to limit adult content, or even set time limits on addictive apps like TikTok and Instagram, I would end up quickly turning off screen time whenever the urge came. In fact, I would turn off screen time so fast without even thinking about it. It was like an automatic thing my brain told me to do. And let me tell you something, this will happen to you too because our brains have been reprogrammed to keep us endlessly doom scrolling and watching porn for the rest of our lives. But no worries, I have some good news for you. If you watch this video until the end, I'm going to reveal the ultimate solution for this problem. I've developed a foolproof method to permanently enforce your screen time restrictions without needing someone else to set a screen time passcode for you. And on top of that, it removes the forgot passcode option on your phone. This will allow you to have 100% non-bypassable screen time restrictions on your phone. Now, let me tell you something. Apple pissed off the wrong guy, which is me I'm talking about because I decided to quit my full-time job and dedicate six months of my life building an app to solve this problem. Not just for me, but for anyone else watching this video. So now I'm gonna hop onto my computer and I'm gonna show you how to set up 100% non-bypassable screen time on your phone so that you could permanently block adult content on your iPhone and absolutely destroy that porn addiction. First, head over to screentimely.com. The link is in the description. Once you're on this page, click the get started now button and sign up. Once you're signed up, proceed to the dashboard. Here you can add new devices and manage multiple devices such as your iPhone, laptop, and computer. As you can see, I currently have my work iPhone added and my screen time is locked for 60 days with 21 days remaining. However, I'm going to add my other iPhone here as well, so click the add a new device button on top. Next, choose the type of device you have. As of now, Screen Timely only supports Apple devices, but later we're going to expand to Android and Windows devices. I'm going to select iPhone and then give my device a nickname. Then hit next. Next, it's going to recommend you watch this step-by-step -step video tutorial, but I'm going to skip this step for now. Next is going to ask you to choose a lock mode. There are pros and cons for each mode. The video tutorial in the previous step will explain in better detail what they are, but for now, I'm just going to select the standard lockup mode. Next, it's going to ask you to set a lock duration. This step is crucial because whatever amount of days you choose here will be enforced. For example, if I choose 90 days here, that means screen time will be locked for 90 days and there will be no way of turning off screen time until this time expires. For beginners, I recommend you first try locking your screen time for 21 days. The reason is that it's scientifically proven that it normally takes 21 days for your brain to reset, detox, and form new habits. So I would start with 21 days and after 21 days you could decide whether to extend the lock or reveal the screen time passcode to unlock your devices. Tick the checkbox and then hit next. Next, you must agree to the terms of service since we don't want to get sued for helping people enforce their screen time. Trust me, some people are so addicted that once they set up Screen Timely, they get anxious in the first few days and start blasting our emails, begging for the Screen Time passcode before the timer expires. And let me tell you something, once you make a commitment to lock your Screen Time for X amount of days, your commitment will stay true to us. We won't let you cheat your way out of it, which is why we have this contract here. So tick the checkbox and continue with the next step. Now I'm going to blur this video and fast forward a bit because this is the part where it reveals the secret to removing the forgot passcode option on your iPhone. That information is only available for users that are signed up with Screen Timely. Okay, so I just removed the forgot passcode button on my phone. 
So now I won't be able to reset my screen time passcode. So now as you can see, we are 65% done with the setup process. Keep in mind, there are only 17 steps, which could take you up to 20 minutes to complete this entire setup process. On this step, it covers how to configure app time limits on your phone if you wish to do that. As you can see, there's some written instructions with some good examples. For example, if you're spending like five hours a day doom scrolling on Instagram, you could set up an app time limit for just 30 minutes every day. There's also image instructions that will help guide you to do this, but I'm not going to do that in this video, so I'm just going to skip this. The next step will cover how to configure your downtime settings, which can help with your sleep schedule. But I'm also going to skip this step because I just want to stick to the topic of this video, which is blocking porn on your iPhone. Next, the setup process is going to cover how to configure your adult content restrictions. I already showed you how to do this in the beginning, but I'm going to do it again. Just follow along with these instructions. So first, I'm going to hit content and privacy restrictions. Then turn on content and privacy restrictions. Then go to content restrictions and then hit web content. Then select limit adult websites. As you can see, I'm just following the tutorial on the left side on my computer screen. And you can see my iPhone on the right side of the screen. Once that's done, just scroll down and tick the checkbox to continue. Now keep on watching, we're 82% done here. This isn't just a step-by-step -step tutorial, there's also another crucial feature in the upcoming steps. So now it's asking us to change our settings to don't allow installing and deleting apps. This step is important because you want to prevent yourself from installing apps like Twitter and Reddit because they contain a lot of adult content there. So go to screen time, which I'm there now. Tap on content and privacy restrictions. Choose iTunes and app store purchases. And then you want to select don't allow for both installing apps and deleting apps. Now that's done, I'm going to scroll down and tick this checkbox to confirm that I did it correctly and proceed to the next step. On this step, it's telling us to don't allow account changes. And the reason for that is because disabling account changes is crucial for reinforcing screen time limitations. This will prevent you from switching your iCloud account on your phone as a way to bypass the screen time restrictions. So scroll down to the image instructions, open settings and go to screen time. Okay, I'm there. Then tap on content and privacy restrictions. Scroll down and tap on account changes. And then choose don't allow under account changes. Now that's done, I'm going to tick to checkbox and continue with the next step. Now here's the coolest part. I'm going to show you how to set a random screen time passcode on your phone using the voice assisted passcode generator. The way this works is that an audio file will play in the background that will read out a passcode for you to set. Just listen to the audio playing in the background and follow the input instructions. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration on how this works. Scroll down and hit the begin screen time passcode setup button. Next, it's gonna ask you to increase your volume to the maximum. I'm gonna increase the volume on my computer so that way I could be able to listen carefully to the passcode and follow along with the instructions. So I have my headphones on and keep in mind, you don't even need a computer to do this. You could do this on the Safari app on your iPhone and just minimize it while the sound is playing hit continue and it's going to show you some more instructions i'm going to skip this because i already explained it when you're ready to put the password in hit the play audio button okay so now a 30 second timer has started in this 30 seconds you have to get prepared on your iphone so as you can see it's telling you to click lock screen time and now you just wait for the passcode you hear it in the background and input it welcome to the voice assisted passcode generator this feature will help you set a random screen time passcode. Listen carefully to this audio in the background and follow the input instructions. Remember, do not write down or save your passcode. It will only be revealed to you at the end of the lockup period. Please press the following keys. Three, backspace, seven, Q, backspace, two, E, Backspace. Three. Nine. M. You should now see a prompt asking you to log into iCloud. Please do not log in. Tap Cancel on the upper left corner of the screen and then select Skip to continue without logging in. If you've successfully set the passcode and bypassed the iCloud login, you're all set. You may return to screen timely and proceed to the confirmation page. 
Okay, so as you just saw, it played a random passcode and told me what keys to press. And it played mind tricks on me so that way I couldn't easily memorize the passcode. If you messed up on this part, don't worry. You could click the try again button and it will give you a random screen time passcode. But if you successfully set a screen time passcode and you didn't write it down or memorize it, tick these checkboxes to confirm your completion. Congratulations, the setup is now complete. Just like that, my screen time is going to be locked for the next 21 days and it's going to be impossible to turn off because I was guided on how to remove the forgot passcode option and on top of that, I was guided on inputting a random passcode that I don't know. That means I won't be able to access any adult websites on my phone and I won't be able to install apps like Twitter and Reddit that contain tons of adult content. Just to prove to you that this works, I'm going to tap on change screen time passcode and as you can see, the option to click forgot passcode is missing. It is completely gone. There is no way for me to reset my screen time passcode and then bypass the restrictions. No matter what you do, it's going to always ask you for your old screen time passcode and you don't know it thanks to the voice assisted passcode generator. The only time you could get the passcode is when this timer expires. So I'm going to return to the dashboard. As you can see, my second iPhone has been added. You could see the status, the screen time is locked, the lock duration is 21 days, you could see the date range and how much time is remaining. Here's what it looks like when the 21 day timer expires, these two options will appear. As you can see the status is complete, there's zero days remaining, so now I could extend the lock duration. If I click that, you could easily add more time, so I recommend if you did your first 21 days and it was successful, maybe go for 365 days next time but i'm gonna actually go back to the dashboard to show you how to reveal the passcode so hit unlock device and as you can see the passcode is currently hidden but if you click this button you can reveal the screen time passcode as you can see the passcode is 7396 so now i could go into my settings change my passcode or turn it off as you can see screen timely gives you everything you need to block adult content on your devices effectively if you have multiple phones phones, laptops, and computers, I highly recommend locking up all your devices on screen timely so that way you could achieve having a full lockdown across all your devices. Once you do that, it will be impossible to access adult content and this will help you defeat your porn addiction. This is literally the only way to completely block porn out of your life. There's no other solution out there that can give you 100% non-bypassable screen time protection like this. I created this app because I was at absolutely sick of all the loopholes out there and realized many others were struggling with the same problem but thanks to screen timely this is no longer an issue with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like and click the link in the description to get started with screen timely it's time for you to take back control of your life and close the bridge between you and all the distractions in the digital world i'll see you guys in the next video peace